the other thing I want to ask you about is the whole thing with the, you know, finding the right employees and and being able to train and manage uh, these guys to a point where you're able to grow your business relatively quickly. Uh, you know, we also we all know that you know there's no such thing as an overnight success. You know. Yeah. Overnight success, twenty years in the making, maybe. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of expound on how you, you know, how you deal with the whole employee situation because I know there's a lot of people in the appliance repair business industry right now who are struggling with that. Hey, it's and this is this is a complicated type of subject, and you're right. I draw upon my experiences and my process. Um, was developed over the years as I began to move into management and then higher positions within the management roles. I noticed that these companies, what they would do is they would have you take personality assessments. And because I spent so much time in that corporate environment, I, I've received additional training, not about the job, but on how to manage people, how to put the right people in the right positions with the right tools so that way they can be successful. So when I'm hiring anyone, I would put out an Indeed ad is my primary um, job posting. Okay. And as I hire, I have a system of questions that I would kind of screen the candidates through. And then from that point, every uh, technician or customer service rep takes a personality assessment. Do you do like a disc assessment? Disc assessment, exactly, exactly. I use the free disc assessment. So a little jewel, Tony Robbins, Robbins, he has like a free disc assessment that you can take online. And I just have them email me that disc assessment. Oh, and it's free. Look at that. And it's free. (laughs) Wow. So, and it's, it's been great. You know, I remember the first time I took it, I was like, you know what, this is, this is pinpoint. I've took a lot, you know, disassessments assessments that take, you know, freaking hour and a half to kind of go through everything. This one is a quick one, but at the same time, I feel it's pretty accurate. Mm, okay. So as I go through the process, they take the disassessment. assessment. I can have a disassessment, assessment, read through it, and try to understand what kind of personality I'm dealing with. And then as you go through the interview, you're going to see a couple things. Do they match the disassessment, assessment <laughs> uh, or did they just click B all the way through? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. And then the second thing is based on their assessment, based on their interview, how can I as the leader put them in the right position? Do I feel like I can take this person and make them great at their position? Okay. And if you can't do it, then you can't do it. And that's how I vet it. It's, it's e- either you can or you can't. So what do you look for when you when you place these ads? What do you what are you actually looking for in a in a in a technician? So I cast a wide net. Um, I'm looking for someone who, at a minimum, has some mechanical experience. Maybe they worked as a mechanic or um, lube type of techs where they have strong customer service that can upsell things, Um, things like that. Military is always one of my favorite ones as well because you get that, you know, rigid is is part of understanding and follow procedures. Uh, I like that as well. Um, The character characteristics really don't matter. It's their experience coupled with their characteristics. So that's why the, I feel like the disc assessment and the interview is real good because they can have a personality their personality could match what you would ideally want to see, but their experience, it may not be what you need to go forward. Mm, okay. right, so, and every position is going to be different. So a CSR position, I'm going to look for somebody who's willing to please and who doesn't get rattled as often. Mm-hmm. Right. Those are really good people because, you know, they're going to be on the phone. There's going to be people who call it in irate calling in with misinformation, um, who call five other people, didn't get an answer, right? So you're going to get a variation of, of customer interactions. Uh, mm-hmm. With technicians, that's a, that's a whole nother beast, right? 